Hello everyone, if you're getting into natural language processing or NLP, you have probably heard of Hugging Face. It's a company that provides an amazing set of tools for building modern machine learning models. Think of it as a whole ecosystem. There's the hub, which is like a giant library of full of pre-trained models and datasets. The Transformers library gives you the actual models like BERT and GPT. The dataset library helps you load and manage huge amounts of data efficiently. And the tokenizers library helps you translate text into numbers that a model can understand. Today, we are going to focus on those last two data sets and tokenizers. We load a large data set and then train our very own tokenizer from scratch. Let's start with the data sets library. Its main job is to make data loading simple and memory efficient. We can load a data set from the hub with just a single line of code. For this demo, we are using Wikitext, which is a big collection of text from Wikipedia. When we load it, we get a dataset dict object. This is basically a dictionary that holds different splits of our data, like a train set and a validation set. So here you can see the same. We can easily explore this object. We can check out the training splits, see its features or columns, and even look at a single example from the dataset. As you can see, each entry is just a piece of text. The best part is that the library handles all the downloading, caching, and memory management for you, which is a lifesaver when working with massive files. Okay, so we have our text data, but machine learning models don't understand words. They understand numbers. This is where a tokenizer comes in. A tokenizer's job is to act as a translator, converting text into sequence of numbers or IDs. Modern tokenizers are smart. Instead of having a unique ID for every single word in a language, they use a subword strategy. They break down rare or complex words into simple known pieces. For example, the word tokenization might be split into token and ization. We are going to train a new tokenizer from scratch for our Wikidata text. Step 1 is the corpus iterator. First we need to we need a way to feed our text to the tokenizer. Since the wiki text dataset is huge, we don't want to load it all into memory at once. So we create a special function that acts as an iterator. It reads a small batch of text, yields it for training, and then moves to the next batch. This is extremely memory efficient. Step two is to initialize and train the tokenizer. Now for the fun part, we'll build a byte pair encoding or BPE tokenizer, which is a very common type tokenizer. The process has four key parts. First, we initialize a blank tokenizer with a BPE model. We also give it an unknown token for any subwords it doesn't recognize. Now we define a pre-tokenizer. This does a simple first split. We are using white space, which just splits the text by spaces. Then we create a trainer. This is where we set the rules. The most important rule is the vocab size. We have set it to 25,000, meaning our tokenizer will learn the 25,000 most common subword units in the text. We also define other special tokens that models use, like CLS and SCP. Finally, we call dot train from iterator and pass it our text data. The trainer will read all the text and learn the optimal subword vocabulary. Once training is complete, we save our new tokenizer to a file. This saves its entire configuration and vocabulary so we can load it back up anytime. Now let's test it out. We load our saved tokenizer and give it a new sentence to encode. So this is a sentence here. Let's look at the output. The sentence was, this is a test of our new tokenizer. 
the tokens is produced are the subwords it recognized and the ids are the numbers that a model would actually see we can also decode the ids right back into the original text to make sure everything worked correctly conclusion so let's re quickly recap we use the datasets library to effortlessly load and inspect a large text corpus then using the data we trained a new brand new custom subword tokenizer from scratch with the tokenizers library this tokenizer is a critical building block the next step would be to use it to prepare data for training a transformers model either from scratch or by fine tuning a model like pert on a specific text these two libraries work together to create a powerful and efficient pipeline for any nlp project thanks for watching